Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to mine Alifium, which is a profitable L1 blockchain that has scaled and enhanced proof of work and the UTXO models. I started mining on Windows, but I'll show you how to do it on high OS. It uses less energy thanks to the proof of less work concept, which combines physical work and con economics, and then dynamically adjusts the work required to mine new blocks. So let's go over the steps that you need to take to start mining this coin, wallet, miner, mining pool, and the overclock settings. Let's get into it. What you want to do is you're going to head over to alifium.org. Here you can read everything about Alifium. Today I'll show you how to mine it on Windows and high OS. So uh, let's start with the wallet, number one. Get the wallet here. Click there. The latest wallet from GitHub is v1.5.3. So go ahead and download your version. I'm going to be using Windows for the first uh, step. So Alifium-1.5.3, the executable file. Go ahead and click there and start downloading that file. Okay, and once the file finished download, go ahead and double click on the executable file and start installing the wallet. All right, installing. There you are, this is the, the desktop wallet. Um, what you need to do is we need to, I'm gonna create a new one, I already have one, I'm gonna create a new wallet for this demonstration. What you need to do is assign a wallet name. So I'm gonna say income. Go ahead and assign a uh, password. All right, retype it. All right, make sure you know your password. Uh, Securing cannot change in the future. That's 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 uh, important. You cannot change in the future. Let's go ahead and say continue. And then this is your secret recovery phrase. So you need to write this down. Um, you can, if you want to recover your wallet, you need to know these words in order. So let's see here, one, you two shoulders. So you need to know all these wallets, write it down, keep it uh, secure, go ahead and do that. Uh, I already done mine. Uh, and then you, what you do is once you wrote the down, you just do, I've copied the words. All right, and then what you're gonna do is, all right, it's going to work right, let's go and check. What it's gonna ask you now is to put the words in order. So you're gonna go ahead and, and, and uh, select the words in order. Okay, and once you validate your words, you're here. This is the actual wallet. We're gonna be uh, able to see the transactions here as soon as we start mining. Uh, here, when you when you click here, show addresses, uh, that's, that's your default address uh, and you can copy from there. So I'm gonna copy and keep it there. All right, for the next step, mining pool stats that stream. So let's head over to mining pool stats. And let's find out what mining pools we can use. I'm gonna type a left here. There it is. All right, hero miners is top one uh, with 35.94 terahash and woolly pulley number two with 12.48. There's some here, they're all global, here it seems to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Wooly Pulley today. So click there, it will take you to woollypulley.com slash en, uh, it's in English. And then we'll need to look for a lithium here, here it is. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna click on connection here. Then we're gonna select the pool type. We're gonna use uh, PPLNS and then <clears throat> Depending on your region, you're gonna choose your region. I'm gonna choose here US. All right. Uh, select region here USA. Uh, select your miner, and uh, we have uh, three options here: BC miner, SRB miner, and T-Rex. I'm gonna use T-Rex because that's the one I know. Um, and what you wanna do here is uh, you want to go back to this is the wallet address now. You're gonna go back to your wallet. Where is my wallet? Here. Uh, sign in. All right. Do it right. We are. And you're going to click on show addresses and copy again here. And then let's go back to the pool. Here. Enter your wallet. So you're going to copy your address there. All right. 
and then your worker's name. Here's a 360 Ti. You can type whatever worker's name, uh, your rig uh, name or whatever. And then what you want to do is you want to create the the bat the batch file here. So I gonna you can copy it, but I'm gonna just download it. So I'm gonna click download, and I'm gonna get my batch file there. Okay, next step is to download the actual miner. We're gonna be using T-Rex. Uh, so head over to github.com slash T-Rex miner slash T-Rex slash releases. That's the latest one, October 14, 2022. We're gonna be using Windows. So click there, download uh, the file, and then uh, open the folder and extract all the, all the files. Now you can see here is the batch file that BAT which is the, the pool, I mean, the, the file that the pool created for us. So I'm gonna just edit and see it. See the content is called the T-Rex, uh, the miner, and it has all the configuration in your wallet and the, and the, and the worker's name. So um, just copy that file, copy, and put it in, inside your T-Rex extracted uh, files here. So I'm gonna replace my existing one. All right, so now you have your uh, batch file there. <clears throat> and we can start mining in Windows right now as soon as we execute this. So let's go ahead and execute this. All right, I'm gonna start mining. All right, there it is. Um, one of one, let's, let's give it a, a couple of minutes and let's see what kind of hash rate we're getting. All right, it's been a while now, about an hour and 50 minutes. The hash rate is about what, uh, one point, now that I'm, 1.02, now that I'm with the Recording this video is gonna get lower, but 1.2 right before recording this video, 1.2 GHz per second uh, with uh, 99 watts. All right, and if we check here, the overclocks, um, the high overclock, we should be getting 1.11, so we're close. This is a slower system, so that's one reason. For the overclock settings, I'm using MSI Afterburner. Uh, and you can see here the core clock, I, I match what the website says, 210, memory clock here, 810, and I went to power limit of 50% all, way, all the way down just to see if I can match this 89, but obviously I'm getting, uh, I'm getting a little bit higher, I'm getting 99 watts, uh, but you don't have to play uh, with the overclock settings and match your profile that you want, like either efficiency, medium, or high overclock. All right, and if you wanna use HiveOS, let's go ahead and go to this farm. I'm gonna add a wallet first, so wallets. Let's click Add Wallet, and let's go ahead and add leaf here. Out. The address, you're gonna go to your, say show address, this is your wallet, which is updated, copy. I paste it there, this, F. Here. All right, I'm gonna do this, create. All right, now we got the wallet and now we gotta create the flat sheets. So let's go there, let's choose the coin of the wallet we just created there. Select the pool, this is wool pulley. Let's see, same pool. Uh, here in the US, PPLNS, there it is. All right, apply, select the miner, uh, T-Rex. Oh, in my case, I'm gonna be using um, AMDs here for this particular rig. So let's go ahead. Um, actually, I can use I can use um, an iron miner, cast Nvidia. So I'm gonna use T-Rex just to match the other one. T-Rex. Uh, I'm gonna name this uh, ALP. Uh, my uh, T1. Right grid. Create, there it is. So now uh, there, that's the the uh, flight sheet that we just created. Now you gotta go to the worker and apply it. So I'm gonna go to this worker, it's, it's currently mining Caspa. I'm gonna stop this, stop the miner. I'm gonna go to flight sheet here. And I'm gonna apply the, the one that we just created. Left in here, apply. Apply there and let's now wait for the results. Let's go to overview. And we just gotta wait here. All right, and, and after you adjust all your uh, overclock settings, uh, look at your total uh, output here and the amount of uh, watts you're using. 
uh, let's let's go to what to mine here. Uh, what you're gonna do is uh, this is for my uh, 36 I mean 3060 Ti. It's just the first uh, test that we did. I was getting 1.02 gigahash per second with 99 watts. That's the lowest I could get. Um, I gotta see if I, I gotta play with the settings and see if I can get lower. But that's just to give you an estimation in Windows. I will get uh, where is it? A lithium here. Uh, five cents uh, net. 29 cents per day in profit, uh, 0.05 with 10 uh, cents kilowatt hour, that's 5 cents uh, per day. Uh, so you gotta, you gotta use this tool and see if it makes sense. Okay, I'm now at coinmarketcap.com. Uh, I have a lithium here, I'm gonna make it part of my watch list. Uh, right now it's at 27 cents. It did pump uh, back in February, late February 27 be back and it reached 35 cents we gotta we gotta keep uh, watching and see what happened with the price uh, if it keeps appreciating uh, let's take a look uh, yeah back then when it released it reached 1.31 dollars uh, then it went down tremendously and then it stabilized and then it's, it's trying to to go back up so we gotta keep watching see if you know it makes sense uh, do your numbers do your uh, overclock settings and see if it makes sense in terms of profitability uh, let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. If you're planning to mine this coin or if you run into any trouble, I'll try to help you out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.